Yeah, I think when you and you bring in some um, sources of of ancient wisdom across different cultures into the conversation, and one thing that strikes me that's so very different in our contemporary moment to almost all sources of ancient wisdom, whether you look at you know Greco Roman pagan sources or Christian sources or Buddhist sources. Um, is there's this idea that actual like that happiness or the good life can be found by like through self restraint through mm-hmm. becoming um, it, learning how to steward your desires well um, rather than unleashing them on the world right but it seems like in our in our kind of post Freudian culture we reverse that almost where restraint of desires is seen as this pathological repression. And that true human happiness is about liberation, right? Freedom, freedom from restraint, like unleashing our desires. And so I think that seems like a huge, a huge tension. Um, and you, you kind of touch on that too in your book. Um, so I don't know if you have any, have any additional thoughts on that. I mean, is it possible for us to recover some of that um, way of thinking about desire um, in in order to begin to talk about boundaries beyond consent that might lead to better sex than what our culture currently offers? Yeah, no, that's a really important tension, actually. And it's one that I think I wrestle with throughout the book. And, you know, sex is one sort of particular locus where this comes into play, but it's also just a question for our broader society, Mm -hmm. whether we define, how we define freedom you know, and whether total freedom, freedom from all restraint is actually good or if boundaries, whether in sex or anything else, um, might be good for us. And yeah, I mean, in the book, there's one of the early chapters is called We're Liberated, But We're Miserable. Mm -hmm. (laughs) And, you know, it comes from talking to a lot of young women and men who say, you know, I feel like we live in this great time for sex, like, the boundaries are down, we're no longer repressed, like I can date whoever I want, do whatever. And it's actually kind of overwhelming and I feel a little bit lost. (laughs) Like nobody knows what they're supposed to be doing anymore. Uh, Women are like, I don't really know how to relate to these men and men are like, well, I don't really know what I'm supposed to be doing with women and how to relate to them either. and in, in a sense, all of that freedom has not actually delivered sort of the utopian, you know, sexual promised land that people think that they or thought that they were getting. And there's real concern there. 